Look at him. Do you know how annoying it is to try to work with a dog who's scared of an umbrella months and months after he's been rescued when it's been raining all summer? This is why my job can suck sometimes. Since they're domesticated wolves, and wolves walk 20 miles a day, dogs need a lot of stimulation. Not just physical stimulation, they need lots of mental stimulation. Why do you think we do what we do? Huh? Good boy, buddy. Why do you think we do what we do? Why, huh? What do you think we're doing right now? Do you think this is dog training? This is getting the dogs out of the den, since they're really wolves and they only really use the den for certain things, specific things, and they spend most of their time outside of the den. So what happens is that dogs, kind of like Rufus, get no mental stimulation. They don't get enough exercise or mental stimulation. Their brain never gets to get used because they sit inside all day and just sleep on a couch in like a dark room. If you want a prisoner, just get a prisoner. Go to jail. You know, go try to take care of prisoners, but don't treat a dog like a prisoner. At least know the animal you're dealing with and know that it's not human. Your dog is not human. So stop humanizing it. My number one complaint with every human on earth is that. Stop humanizing your dogs. They're not humans. Dogs are not humans. They are Wolves, they are domesticated wolves. And they're so sensitive with energy. They look at, just look at Rufus. Cause I'm schooling everybody on the YouTube. Rufus is like, oh my God, he can pick up on it when I get upset. And that's what I want. There's no reason for your dog to be out of control. They should be tuning into you all day long. Be alpha role model leader, pack activity leader. You forget that being an alpha is all about leading the pack activities and that's a daily job. Just Forget that? You think you're gonna do it, what, once a week, twice a week, and actually get a good dog out of the situation? My dog's got anxiety. How about your dog doesn't have any stimulation? Look, you're one of the people watching this and you get no problems with your dogs, then you're awesome. Join my team, you're on my team. I love you. If you think that they're wolves too and respect them as wolves and take care of their needs as the wolves they are, then I love you. Please subscribe to my channel. Or like, let me know what channel you got so I can subscribe to yours. We're already on the same team. We should just be more connected. Right now, Cindy and Topper, especially Topper, are role models for him. They're role models. They're already showing him not to be scared. and He's already working. As you can clearly see, if you're paying attention, anybody paying attention right now has been seeing that the whole time. Now, Topper and Cindy are not scared of the umbrella, so there's no reason for Rufus to be. So the title of this video might be Never Humanize Your Dog or else you're gonna have problems. Rufus just met that dog and he did very well, so I just rewarded him with nice vocal reward of just good boy. Energy rewarding, no treats here. All the treats are in the car. In case anybody thinks I bring treats out here to try to coax them into me and bribe them into what I want, you're wrong. Every stupid thing you've heard about dog trainers, I am the opposite. Thank God, too. Humanizing dogs, worst thing you could possibly do. Never humanize your dog. If you humanize your dog, you will have problems. A dog is not a human. Repeat after me. A dog is not a human. A dog is not a human. A dog is not a human. A dog is not a human child, that's for damn sure. So the more you humanize your dogs out there, people, the more problems you're gonna get. So yeah, stop humanizing your dog. All right, someone tell me which canine out of all the canines on earth wakes up in the morning and right away goes eats breakfast? Tell me, which one? Do the wolves do that? I mean, since they're pretty much wolves, Canis lupus familiaris, Northern gray wolf is Canis lupus. So since they're pretty much wolves, do you think the wolves wake up and have breakfast every day? Have you ever wondered that? Have you ever cared? Or do you just treat your dog like a child? Wake up, feed it breakfast, go out and for the day and go about your business and expect it to have no problems because you're just treating it like a human. No canine, no canine on earth wakes up to have breakfast. Not one of them. The first thing they do when they wake up or if they even wake up, is walk their territory, looking for any bit, scraps, any opportunity they can get to eat. That's what they do. And after they found it, it's been after walking their territory, so they've done work for their food. So every bit, every morsel of food out in the wild, they work for it. 
So all the humans out there, they're gonna have a dog in their house. They're gonna let it be territorial. They're gonna feed it breakfast. And they're gonna say, I don't know why my dog does this. It's insane. By the way, what do you think we're doing right now? We're getting mental stimulation. Even though we've done this a thousand times, it beats sitting at home doing nothing. That's why I pick them up. That's why I made the video about me rollerblading with them. Cause that was a Saturday night when I had the day off and I just decided to go get them for the hell of it. Cause I know they sat around all day getting no stimulation at all. And I personally feel awful knowing that they're gonna sit there all day doing nothing, being domesticated wolves, having all their capabilities and getting to do nothing with it all day long. What if I took you and put you in a bathroom huh right when you woke up in the morning human if I just took you and locked you in a bathroom all day every day and I only let you out for a half hour twice a day to go online or do any of the human things you like doing that's it then the rest of the day you're sitting there and you're gonna sleep I'm just saying that's what goes on in the world out here that's what most people do it's insane I use every opportunity I find or that comes across my day or my way to train them Every opportunity, like rain. If it's raining out and I got a rescue dog or a new puppy or something, you can bet your bottom dollar that I'm gonna be walking them outside in the rain with an umbrella. So the dog can get used to the umbrella, the noise it makes, the sound, the smell, everything about it. And then he can relate the umbrella with a good time instead of being scared of an umbrella like Rufus. In case anyone's wondering out there how I deal with scared dogs and umbrellas, I'm doing it right now. All I'm doing is walking. Silence is approval. He's following. He's keeping his distance, but he's following. And that's all that's going to happen right now. As long as he's following, he's not that scared. I have to train a dog that's not mine about umbrellas. It's now my duty to desensitize him to umbrellas. This is what I'm talking about, where I thought it was the owner's job. Good puppy. It's the second time he's done that recently in this entire walk. He's like, oh, I'll pass you. That movement is communication with dogs. Just by the way he's moving, he's communicating to me. All right, I'm not that scared of it. It's not that big of a deal. Cause I'm not moving it around. If I chased him with this umbrella, he'd be scared shitless, okay? And trust me, we've had two dogs try attacking us before, running outside of their house, jumping over the fence and full on running after us, full attack mode. And all I did was Put the umbrella down straight like this. And I got pissed. I, I don't get scared, I get pissed. And I just ran right after it with the umbrella like this. The dog completely did a 180, turned around, ran right back to its house. I'll never forget that. It was That was a pit mix, like a terrier weird, one of the flat faced pit mix terriers. So he's gotta go in ahead of me right now. Cause that's gonna build up some confidence in him because he's so scared of, I don't know, everything with me. And he's on meds, so we want him to go ahead. But what we're looking for is tail down, ears back, submissive posture. Especially if other dogs, people, humans, or kids come. But yeah, it's good that he's going ahead of me. Don't think it's some rule that they always have to stay behind you. That's really communication. When I want them behind me, they'll get behind me. But generally, everybody's kind of free to do what they want as long as somebody's telling them where to go. That's me. That's good, because Mr. Umbrella over here is really scary. Hey, look at that. Just the noise gets his attention. Good boy, but you're doing good. I'll correct him if he doesn't do anything stupid up ahead of me. Right now, we're absolutely wanting him to go in front of me. See how this training works? Isn't that funny how it all works? And he's walking with the pack. He's keeping pace. I'm not reminding him. They all do that. If your dog doesn't do that with you, then it doesn't respect you. Probably because you treat it like a human. <laughs> how hard is it to make your dog tired every single day? That involves not feeding at breakfast. But yeah, that's all we're doing right now. Three hours out in the rain, holding this heavy blunt umbrella, getting eaten alive by mosquitoes, all so they can actually get a little tired, get some stimulation, go back to the car and feel some of that primal relaxation. They're so primal, they're not human. They're not going back home and watching the internet. They don't want to do just a quick 10 minute walk. The majority of younger dogs, even Tapu's nine, want to do full hikes. They want to do full hikes regularly, daily. The only job as a human is to tire your dog out every single day. It's a primal animal with a tiny little walnut sized brain. How hard is it to tire your dog out? It's real hard, let me tell you. Most people are really lazy. And that's why their dogs are so screwed up. They're wet and they're tired and they're all laying there like a bunch of wet domesticated wolves that had a pretty damn good time in three hours walking in the miserable super rain, disgusting humidity, surrounded by mosquitoes. I hope you guys enjoyed the rant. Only come back if you're on my side. Thanks. See you next time.